have been hearing the quote recently that what God mostly does is love us. What a wonderful feeling that that brings as we are open to it, as we fully receive that premise in our heart and our mind. It is easy then to accept that, as we've been saying recently, all people are in truth, brothers and sisters in love. <laughs> brothers and sisters in love. What a powerful perspective from which to move. As I find access to the truth of love in me and in others, oneness in spirit is known. I feel it now as I cherish and I express from the heart and the mind that all men, all women, comprise the family of love. I can feel the harmony, abundant and universal love available to be expressed through us. What a glorious thing that is. We have been speaking of the word tyrant, and I think we may tend to see it related to a dictator or a bully. I believe that we may have opportunity to allow something of self-reflective perspective in this regard. I'm thinking of it in terms of uh, possible tendencies. The attempt of our hearts and our minds to take over from the impulse of spirit within us, within ourselves. Have I or we ever strongly resisted what spirit is bringing to us and asking of us? It may be subtle, but in my experience, it happens. Do we wish to get our own way? You bet. Seeking control can come in many forms and others may be held hostage to that behavior. Yet the loving, true design and specific nature of spirit is ever available, ever abundant in and through us, always. I feel my responsibility to open to and maintain alignment with this spirit, this reality of spirit. Since first ever hearing that nature abhors a vacuum, <laughs> I have been totally fascinated and conscious of what fills that vacuum and what it takes to do so. It is really no secret. I've discovered this, that it is simply gifting of the powerful present expression and expression of the design of eternal love through each one of us and all of us together, which fills that vacuum. I so delight in the order and power of life that is revealed through us as we are open to it and participate fully in it, mind, heart, and body. This, to me, is such a stronghold of oneness. We all feel and know the presence of love and truth as we are honest with ourselves, and we can reveal it in every single situation our consistent openness to it, fully knowing it and the support of one another in trusting the way of love brings such joy 